Hey everybody, I'm uh, Sylvie here. I'm on my night Dow Dow again. Um, originally, I had been planning on doing the Ice Island quest, quest so that I could get to a certain spot and do a video there. However, you have to boat to a certain place using the stupid guy named Buttle, and he sent me to the wrong place. And I only brought exactly the amount of gold I needed for the one-way trip, so I can't get to the right spot. So, now I'm going here which is the um, barbarian encampment, at least one of them. So I figured since I'm here, I might as well do a video kind of showcasing this place. So this is what I believe to be the largest of the three barbarian camps. It is called um, Ragnir, I believe. And let me double check that. Yep, Ragnir, and it's the home of the Norseer barbarian clan. Now, I don't know if that actually means anything or not. Um, let me kill these dudes before I start moving my map. Where are they all coming from? No, I want my gold. There we go. Alright, so... Uh, I came in via the boat, which comes in right there. Uh, you, however, can also walk from down here. Kill that dude. That's like an orc berserker, roughly. They dropped a the halberd. Nice. You have to come across this uh, Forgmir glacier. Stairs uh, up or there from the town. You go across. That's just uh, mammoths and junk up there. Nothing remotely dangerous. So yeah, all in all... You got two different ways to get here, if you really didn't want to spend the 50 gold. I wonder if he's going to actually... Oh, hey, he did come down. I'm kind of surprised. I hunted here before on Sylvius, but I was uh, too high of a level for it to be remotely worthwhile. Well, I guess I'm not going to be killing him anytime soon. So I'm not really sure how good of a spot this is on if you were on level. Um, considering they're basically doing nothing to me, I can't imagine they're all that tough. But the uh, the Bloodwalkers, I believe, are the dangerous ones. Also, those... Um, yeah. The Brute Masters are mages, and uh, they summon the Warwolves which are now all in my way. Congrats. Oh, wow. Wow. Alright. This kind of sucks. Wow, this is like significantly less of a problem when you're a paladin, let me tell you. You just kind of stand still and kill them. <laughs> I need to run after them and there's a wall of crap in my way. It suddenly becomes much more of an issue. Alright, lady, you get the die nest. Die. And your turn. Look, more. Alright, I mean, that was a particularly, uh... <laughs> particularly intense spot there. I mean, I wasn't in real threat at any given point, but... I could have easily got blocked in and accidentally like lured a whole bunch of the uh, the Bloodwalkers, and the Bloodwalkers can can really hurt me. Ugh. Take my gold. Supposedly, this place can be pretty good to hunt uh, for money, according to what the wiki told me. Wiki lies a lot, though, so I don't know. Uh, part of the reason why they listed it, too, is it's profitable, is, um... Kill her. No, not the wolf. There we go. Um... There's a couple of rare items that I believe can be sold for, like, a semi-reasonable amount of money to various NPCs. Uh, also, the Bloodwalkers drop, uh, red pieces of cloth. 
which are supposed to be are a lot more, which are supposed to be worth a lot more than I tend to sell them for. I don't know if it's just my server that kind of sucks. Both of them. A couple of people were in the um, English chat earlier, specifically complaining about the um, state of Amera's. This is Amera, by the way. We're specifically complaining about the state of America's market, so I don't know. Come on, lady, die. Ah! Ah! There we go. I immediately get another one. As far as I know, by the way, these are like one of the few monsters that drop uh, normal bags. I mean, of course they drop fur bags, but I mean, like, pirates drop their special little pirate bags that can't be purchased in stores, as far as I know. These guys drop store-bought, NPC-bought uh, items, and I believe they're the only things that do that. I, of course, could be wrong. They drop corn. Mm-mm, corn. The Bloodwalkers drop, uh... Nothing in there. Hallbirds, which are decent money for their, uh... stuff. Especially if you're at the kind of lower level. Uh, they also drop battle axes, which aren't super great. Um, I've heard exactly how much they sell to for NPCs. Yeah, got a whole horde of things coming at me again. Boom. And that is how we handle that situation. On the other hand, while the uh, Bloodwalkers can drop some stuff that's actually valuable, they have a really high tendency to just consistently drop nothing. Which makes them sort of annoying. I hate monsters that consistently drop nothing. That's why I didn't like hunting necromancers all that much. Although, to be fair, hunting necromancers was kind of fun. Yeah, the Broodmasters are way more annoying when I don't have viable ranged combat. Oh, come on. Yay, more Brute Masters. Oh, come on. The other Brute Master got in my way. The Brute Masters do drop an item called, like, the Brute Master Staff, which is uh, unique to them, too. I don't know if it sells a lot for a lot, because I have never looted one before. Bloodwalker. Chain up. Ooh, that'll take me far in life. If you're a knight, you want to make sure the uh, Bloodwalkers are only hitting you one or two at a time. That way you're, uh... By the way, that Ice Witch cannot get out of that building. That way they're not breaking your shield. Don't, like, let three Head Splitters plus a uh, Bloodwalker be on you at once. And if you're a Paladin or a Mage, don't let any of them hit you at all. Those, up there, you can get to. The one in here, though, as far as I know, you can't even open up its door. Oh, yeah, Health Potions. I didn't know they dropped those. It's kind of cool. That guy is um, part of a quest for the uh, some of the Secret Service quests. I forget which ones. Like the the tibia, like the face TBI. I think it is the Carlin people and so on. Oh, look, another root master. I hesitate about just charging straight into the Brute Masters, because I don't know exactly what else could be around. Alright, let's get her. There we go. As far as I know, the Skull Hunter dudes just are pure melee enemies. Um, oh, that figures. Yeah, the Skull Hunters are pure melee. They can't do anything but melee. The Head Splitters, I think they're called. Uh, at least can do whirlwind throws, so they have like semi-ranged abilities. And then the bloodwalkers are also pure melee. You don't kill a lot of humanoid enemies in this game, which makes these guys kind of rare. Uh. 
Oh, come on. Die. Oh, I'm not attacking her. <laughs> Crap. Alright. On the upside, I'm fully stocked on mana potions, so I don't have anything to worry about here. This little uh, central hallway here is where you usually run into the most of the Bloodwalkers, at least on ground level. So if you think you can't handle them, uh, try to avoid this spot. At least if you think you can't handle multiples of them at the same time, I should say. There we go. Right. There's another one. I fought these guys... Uh, I showcased myself killing them when I did the video of the uh, arena quarter also. Same dudes. Also, they respawn pretty quickly here. Which makes it okay, hunting. You just want to make sure you're not getting in too over your head, in that case. Fur boots. I don't know if those are worth, but probably something. Die, lady. One of the things uh, that's cool about playing a knight is I'm way more okay with just killing the uh, the summons than I am on Silvius. On Silvius, I'm like, I'm not wasting one of my 20 gold arrows on a summon monster, especially if it's a monster that'll take more than one hit to kill. But here, since my uh, my slashes aren't actually costing me money, I really don't care. Come on. Oh, come on. This is, like, super annoying. It's made worse by the fact that they're not, like, really threatening to me. In that I don't need to be, like... I don't actually need to use any kind of real strategy with them. So they're also just not even fun to encounter. Maybe fun isn't the correct word. Exhilarating, maybe, is the correct word. Exciting. Yeah, let's go with exciting. They're not exciting to encounter. They're just a waste of my time. <laughs> but they're an annoying waste of my time. Alright, we'll kill this dude. Get her. Little walker. Well, my 23 gold coins. I think I killed somebody over here. Yeah, there we go. Well, my 13 gold coins. I don't know if that's a shovel hole. We will find out though. That is not a shovel hole. Oh, wow, for real? There we go. Yeah, out of all the times I've killed these barbarians, I've never gotten a rare drop off of any of them. So those uh, fur boots are actually something I'm kind of excited about. <laughs> fur boots are armor 2, but reduced speed by 6. Which uh, I believe my understanding of that is it's 3 levels. So if I wore them right now, I am currently level 68, although I have boots of haste on, which up my speed by 20 levels is my understanding. So I'm moving at the same speed that a level six or level eighty-eight should. If I took off the boots of haste, I would drop down to a sixty-eight speed, and then if I put the other things on, I would drop down to the level of a sixty-five speed. Is my understanding? Got all those junk items. Did you drop anything? Oh, 
Why am I not on a... Yeah. Also, yeah, I guess the mount increases my speed by 10. So with the mount factored in, I'm also with the speed of a uh, level... What did I say? 98 now? You're dead, lady. You're dead. Kill the chicken! You know, I don't know if uh, feathers are worth anything. Ugh. Really gotta kill the blood walkers first, because they can actually damage me. There we go. I think I was mentioning this. Uh, I mentioned this in, when I was doing the like Grave Digger of Drefia quests. But I hate fighting monsters that summon things where the things they summon are also in the same area. Because then I'm never really sure if the thing that I'm about to, like, liches do it too, actually. I'm never sure if the thing that's about to, like, run up to me is going to disappear because I just killed its summoner, or if it was, like, an actual one that will give me XP for killing it. I do that a lot with, uh, liches. Where I'll be like, well, this bone beast is about to disappear, so I'll just keep going this way. And it turns out it was a real bone beast, and it's not disappearing. Can't get in there either. And then I just end up letting a bone beast hit me like twice. Which is especially troublesome because that happens in Sylvius when I'm a paladin. And I definitely don't want them hitting me. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Kill the chicken. Chicken kill. Come on, dude, just die. Ugh. I may have to uh, kill a brute master. I may have to take a minor break from my tibia videos coming up because uh, I'm running out of premium time. I think I have six days left now. And Sylvius is getting really close to hitting level 100, and I definitely don't have the uh, the money to buy him his new equipment. Sylvius has somewhere around like 300 to 400 thousand, and uh, all of his equipment is going to run him somewhere around like 3 million, which is a lot more than I have. Let's go with that answer. All right. So that was all of the actual um, barbarian encampment. Now up here is called like Ice Witch Tower, and I'm gonna try. The scary thing with fighting new enemies as a knight is uh, because you're super close to them, especially for enemies that are trying to run away from you. By the time you realize, like, oh, this is gonna kill the crap out of me, you're kinda... you're kinda stuck at that point. <laughs> Am I not attacking? I'm not attacking. Next. Next. Wow, sick loot. So I'm just gonna go for. Yeah. Yeah, I might have not have done this if I knew I was gonna barge into a whole bunch of bloodwalkers at the same time. She's a NPC, by the way. Freeze Child. I think she's the, uh... Freezehild, I guess is her name. I think she's the, like, leader of this clan. I don't know if that, like, ever comes into play in any sense of the word. Well, this isn't actually all that hard. I don't know what's in that teleporter, just for the record. Because I make poor decisions after I kill these two, I'm going to try to jump into it, though. They will, uh... turn you into that crap.
and uh, it will reset your mount, which is annoying. All right, let's go through the teleporter. I presume it's going to do nothing, but hey. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. It did not do nothing. I think there's a possibility that they're draining my skills, just for the record. That was awesome, by the way. I was, like, very positive that that uh, teleporter was going to do nothing. Very positive that I was going to just be like, you know, it's going to be one of those ones that just pop you back out into the room you came from because you don't have access to it yet. That was a... Uh, and that was, like, legitimately scary when I went through that. <laughs> Shame that Ice Witches kind of like drop nothing remotely valuable. That's actually not true. They do have a large amount of stuff that they drop that's worth it. It's just that um, the odds of any of that stuff coming is incredibly slow. Low. All of their like potentially good stuff is a super low chance. All right, I got a Witch's paper. What's this? The foreigners have taken us by surprise. They used evil magic to overcome our men, and we finally had to retreat. If the mighty Yachal had not been in a regenerative sleep at the moment, this moment, we would have beaten them for sure. But to make matters worse, the holy coffin in which Yachal is sleeping has been stolen during this attack. Our scouts reported they have dragged it into the mines. They probably plan to use its powers for their purpose. The good thing is that it won't open at all as long as it is not touched by starlight. The bad news is that without starlight, Yachal might be trapped in the coffin eternally. Interesting. Well, still, that was that was kind of <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> it's one dead. Let's get two. By the way, when I'm like talking about how I waste a whole bunch of money by doing these videos, this is what I'm talking about, by the way. <laughs> when I waste a whole bunch of mana potions killing monsters that I know won't drop any kind of meaningful loot just for the sake of going up to a tower. On top of that, it's a tower I've been up before, so like I know what's potentially within this tower. Uh, and I know that the answer to that question is basically nothing. Although I never tried going through that teleporter before. That was the first. Ooh. I was trying a little bit too hard to go through that door. I figured I could go out into that doorway and then uh, kind of lure him out there. Yeah, let's do this. Man, put him one at a time. You guys have been foiled by like two inches of wood. Don't you feel stupid. The fact that there's uh, people above me makes it really hard for me to tell what's going on. Come on, step in. Yeah. You're mine, lady. Crap. Wait, are they shooting me through the window? Oh, I think they are shooting me through the window. Well, hypothetically, if you really, really needed to go uh, up this tower, and you may need to go up this tower for some reason, uh, I think this tower is used in the uh, the Secret Service quests. So, I mean, there is potential need to go up this tower. If you really need to go up this tower, and you're definitely not a high enough level to go up this tower, you can try to hide and fight them on this uh, these balconies. On the other hand, if that goes poorly, you're going to be stuck on the balcony. 
So you might want to be a little careful. <laughs> Come on, hit her a little bit harder. Should be paying attention. Let's see if she is actually draining my skills. My weak, weak, crappy skills. Doesn't look like my skills are being drained. not really paying a lot of attention to what's going on over there. I'm paying most attention to making sure my HP isn't hitting zero. It does appear you can dodge their uh, their wave by staying diagonal, just for the record. Oh, Clerical Mason, nice cube. I think I mentioned this when I was uh, hunting the necromancers in Drefia uh, and doing that quest, but uh, in the past I actually tried to hunt priestesses for their chance at dropping clerical maces. Because uh, I wasn't... yeah. <laughs> I wasn't able to afford an actual clerical mace. And for some reason I thought it would be possible for me to kill a priestess. In my defense, that was before Tibia Wiki was really a thing, so I had to get uh, my information off of like what drops what off of a different website, and that website did not list like how strong the monsters were. It was just like this item is dropped by priestesses, so I was like, oh, all right, if I can go find some priestesses, I'll be golden. Yeah, not exactly. That's not exactly how that works. Any respawns when I go down? One respawn. I kind of want to lock him in here. Ah, never mind. I'll just jump. Door. Open. Go. I want to lock him in here. He's not cooperating with me. There we go. Haha. <laughs> I wonder how long he'll stay there. I assume nobody ever goes up into this tower unless the quest sends them here. Oh, hey, I leveled up off that. Check that out. Figured I might as well kill them again. Look, another clerical mace. On a side note, good thing I leveled up there, because otherwise I wouldn't have had enough uh, carrying capacity to pick that up. And look, she responded. Doo 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 doo. I'm a snowman. I'm hitting for nothing. There we go. Quick, get to the balcony. I think the uh, the balcony is the part that's making the, me in, actually enjoy this part. Just being able to screw around with that is kind of funny. So I'm enjoying myself now. Come on, lady, die. There we go. You died. Uh, I probably should have shut that door. What a surprise. Basically dropped nothing. Yeah, I don't like the Bloodwalkers. They're kind of lame to me. It's good uh, manners to shut that, by the way. So that way when you uh, somebody else comes in, they don't have to fight all of them at once if they don't want to. Alright. Well, this was... Ragnar, I believe, again? Home of the oh Jesus, home of the large piles of stupid monsters. I think is what they meant to say. I 
I'm just ignoring the things that are going on around me so that I can organize my box. Die, lady. You're next. Yeah, see, I think I killed a decent amount of these guys and still got none of the rare drops. So, a little disappointing. Oh, God, I hate them. Get her. Got her. Two gold and a fur bag. This is uh because they drop bags. This is probably like the only spot in Tibia you can still effectively move back. For you youngins who don't know what loot bagging is, you used to <coughs> kill monsters, take a bag out of them because monsters of all sorts used to always drop bags. So you take the bag out of their body, you'd fill it up with stuff. And then after it was all filled up with stuff, you would take another bag. Alright, where can I eat? There we go. You would take another bag, stick the first bag inside of the, the, the second one, kill a whole bunch of things, and put them in the second bag. Uh, the loot, obviously. And all the loot. You put, like, maces, hatchets, brass shields, plate shields, chain armors. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was almost dying. <laughs> Not paying any attention. My walk down memory lane distracted me. Anyway, yeah. Brass helmets. Uh, anything that could be sold to an NPC, pretty much no matter how cheap it was, you would put inside of the bag. And then you would just drag that around with you the whole time. When it filled up, you'd get another bag, and when that one filled up, you'd put it in another bag, and you would just repeat that process indefinitely. And eventually, you'd have a million bags. Now, eventually, though, you'd have a bag that probably weighs, like, 3,000 ounces or something like that. And then you would drag it back to town. Uh, if you were lucky, you had access to the postman's quest, and you could, uh, <laughs> mail it. Otherwise, you would, like, sneak a parcel on you and try to like get it to the nearest mailbox because people would always try to steal your loot bag and a lot of times even if they couldn't steal your loot bag they would just throw it in the water or into a trash can just to ruin your day because sometimes the tibia community is just so nice get her, got her And yeah, then you would just have piles upon piles of loot that you could then take to the NPCs and sell them. You usually take off all of your equipment so you could carry more of it. I still do that when I'm going to go sell to the gins. No way am I taking like 4,000 trips when I have to walk all the way to the green gin place. Tibia was a different beast back in the day. Well, maybe somebody else can take the gold. I killed him, so I don't want it to go to waste. Alright. Ooh, brown piece of cloth. I'll eat a fish. Alright, so that was... Again, Ragnar... Um, the primary, oh gosh, it's the primary barbarian camp. Uh, another one is up here underneath this glacier, that's called Bittermore. I forget what the clan is that inhabits that one. And I don't remember where the other, uh, barbarian camp is. Anyway, over here is the stupid drunk guy who took me to the wrong spot, because he sucks at life. And you have to go, you have to say passage to him. Passage. 
Uh, I would like to go to Svargrod, you stupid, 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 stupid head. All right. All right, so that was that video. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe.